Turn me please to the book of Second Chronicle. Second Chronicle. Second Chronicle chapter number twenty. If you want to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So I'm going to speak on the message this very morning. Victory in your praise. Mm. Shout hallelujah to that somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody is going to experience great victory. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to experience a great victory in every difficulties, in every challenges that you might be facing. Challenges in your mind. Challenges in your body. Challenges in your marriage, in your head. Challenges in every area of your life, if your finances, you are going to experience great victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Amen. When you read from verse 1, here was Jehoshaphat, the servant of the Most High God. Suddenly, men rose up against him. Hallelujah. I said, suddenly, the enemy, the enemy of progress, the enemy of deliverance, the enemy of testimony, rose up against him. Without doing nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, without doing nothing. Out of the spirit of jealousy. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to be with me this morning. Out of the spirit of jealousy. Because of their destiny is taking shape. Because of the hands of God upon them. Because they are called the children of the most high God. Because they serve God in spirit and in truth. The Bible says the enemy rose up against them without any curse. And it was told to Jehoshaphat that the enemy has rose up against you from the left, from the right, from east, from north, from south, from west. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You see, as the servant of the most high God, any difficulty you are going through, all you need to do is to seek the face of God. Why? Because the battle is of God. The battle belongs to God. Every child is a child of God. When I say a child of God, a true child of God is going through. It isn't you going through that challenges. It is God that is in you going through that challenge. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So all you need to do is to turn to the Lord. Why? Because it's God that owns the battle. The Bible says Jehoshaphat turned his face to the Lord and seek the face of God. Hallelujah. With his people and said, Father, you promise that when evil, when calamity, when difficulties shall come up against us, when we seek you in this house, you will hear us. And you will deliver us. Thank you, Father. Thank you. They turn their face to the Lord. When you read from verse 17, where we're going to continue. Having them prayed, having them fasted, the Lord, of, the Lord God gave them instruction, a dimension to follow. Everybody say with me, a dimension. A dimension. There is every dimension God has given to his children. In every temptation they are going through. Thank you, Father. Thank you, the way to follow, the way to tackle the problem. Every problem has solution. And the solution always comes with a dimension. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The time God said to David, He said, Pursue them. Go after them. You will overtake them and you will recover all that they have taken. That was the dimension. The dimension was to go after them. Hallelujah. Amen. But in the case of Jehoshaphat, God said to Jehoshaphat, just worship me. Just praise me. Serve me from the bottom of your heart. Prayer may not be able to solve this. Fasting may not be able to solve this. But your praise will take you far. And you will see the deliverance, the hands of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Amen. My year is not changed today. Men and women still praise God today and experience victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will praise God this morning and experience a great victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 17, the word of God declared, 
unto Jehoshaphat and the host of Israel. You shall not mean to fight in this battle. The word of God said, take your position. Take your stand. See the deliverance of the Lord. Who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem? Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your stand. You see, one of the greatest times the church can take to experience victory, to experience the hands of God for them and against their opposition is praising God. Am I speaking right now? Yes. It's praising God. That is why in the time of praise, praise God as if you mean it from the bottom of your heart. Why? Because you are offering the sacrifice of praise unto the Lord. The Bible call it in the book of Hebrew, the fruit of our lips. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible call it the fruit of our lips. In other words, God has blessed our lips with singing, with praises, with worship. Hallelujah. He said the fruits of our lips. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God declared in verse 18, and Jehoshaphat bowed down his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worship him. I was speaking right now. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we are told that enemy rose up against them. I don't know whichever area in your life you are experiencing opposition. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Yeah. I don't know whichever area in your life your destiny yeah. is being touched by the enemy of progress out of the spirit of jealousy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. As you worship God this morning, mm. as you bow down your face to the ground this morning mm. and worship God in spirit and in truth, mm. I feel God fighting your battle for Amen. you. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank, Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Lord. The Bible declared in verse 19, and some level, and some Korah, and Korah stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. I was speaking right now. The Bible says with a very loud voice. A very loud voice, the word of God declared. Will you get hold of that chat, please? A very loud voice, the word of God says. A very loud voice. When the Bible says a very loud voice, they forgot all the about they are going through. And praise God. Thank you, Father. They forgot about the situation that faces them and praise God. A very loud voice. In other words, their voice, their voice was much more greater than the situation they were going through. Than the trouble they were going through. Anybody that prays God more than the situation he or she is going through will receive God. Hallelujah. Amen. Will receive solution, answers. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says they praise God with a very loud voice. Thank you, King of Glory. The Bible declared in verse 20. And they rose up early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah. And I'm proclaiming the same voice to you this morning. Hear me, O oh people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear me, one prayer healing ministry. Amen. Hear me, the saint of God. Amen. Hear me, church of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And you inhabitant of Jerusalem, you inhabitant of one prayer healing ministry, hear me, the children of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. Is the most important step any man can take to experience victory in every tribulation. Believe that God has given me victory, that God is with me, that my presence is able to take me far to the point of testimony that the world will see the hands of God for me 
Hallelujah. Amen. That the world will see that I serve the living God. Jehoshaphat said, believe. In other words, no doubting man is needed in this place right now. Because we are about to praise God. Because we are about to experience success. Remember what God said to Moses. When the children of Israel cried, having seen the rest in front of them. God said to them, stand still. Do not be dismayed. Believe that God is able to deliver you. Yes, you may see the rest. Yes, yeah, the host of Egypt may be coming behind you. And you've got nothing to fight the battle. For the Egyptians you see today, you see them. Oh. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. He said, for the Egyptians you see today, you see them no more. God requires us to believe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Nobody can break the focus of belief when you stand on what you believe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jehoshaphat said, believe, O Judah. Believe, O Jerusalem. A believing man goes straight without looking back. Yes, darkness could be ahead of you, but you believe that the Lord God is with me. Who can be against me? A believing man walk as he is blind. Ordinary people, the kind of people think they are blind, but we are not blind. They are walking with the eyes of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. When the prophet of God speaks a word, the men and women that believe, he look as if what you're doing to the unbelievers. But when they believe, God is able to bring that word to come to pass in their life. To them that believe, thank you, Father. Thank you. So Jehoshaphat requires the church. Requires Israel, requires Judah, Jerusalem to believe. As I require you this morning to believe that God is able to come down as you praise him. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. It's our mode of outstanding success. Amen. We're going to experience outstanding success in every challenge we are going through. Outstanding victory in every challenge we are going through. Amen. All we need to do is to believe. Thank you, Father. He said, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. In other words, your heart desire shall come to pass. Establish me. That which you lay your hand, though your good dream, your good desire, that you lay your hand, shall come to pass. Shall be established. We are born to be established. We are born to fulfill our destiny. All we need to do is to believe. Is the first ingredient we need to set up our main. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. It's the first ingredient, it's the first step we need to take for every victory we need in our life. Every victorious move we ever dream of, all we need to do is to believe. Jehoshaphat said to them, Believe your Lord, your God. You shall be established. Thank you, Thank you. you shall be established yourself in every area of your life. In other words, those men and women that have come up against you, they cannot rob you of your life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, they cannot rob you of your destiny. They cannot rob you of your joy. All you need to do, believe, Christianity is a lie. It's a lie that God has given unto us. It's a lifestyle of victory. It's a lifestyle of triumph. It's a lifestyle full of testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. When men and women are struggling, check their belief. Check their heart. Check their faith. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Glory be to God for the children of Israel who walk with Je Je Jehoshaphat without doubting in their heart. Listen, a doubting mind stops miracles. A doubting mind Stop testimony. A doubting mind is a hindrance to the hands of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. We are miraculous children. Amen. We are the children of the most high God. Amen. God is full of miracles. So we are full of miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. He requires us to believe. He said, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe and remain steadfast. 
in his prophet. In other words, believe in his prophet that was declared unto you by the servant of God. Believe in the word of God that was declared unto you by the servant of God. The word you are hearing requires you to believe before you can be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. What did the word of God says? He said, and you shall prosper. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. So you can see that every step of victory in our life of the child of God requires I believe. Thank you, Father. He you. said your prosperity in this age we are is in your believing. Believing in the word of God that comes from the servant of God. Are we speaking? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. For God is able to do all things. There is victory in your praise. Amen. There is a standing success in your praise. You cannot praise God in every difficulties. I remain the same. Why? Because the moment you start praising God, your mood, your attitude change. Remember, it is your mood, it is your mind that the devil has held in captive. That makes you be in captive. But once you start praising God, once you start worshiping God in spirit and in truth, you are transcended from the bondage attitude. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is nothing praise cannot do for the children of God Amen. who believe in God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God declared. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers to sing to the Lord and praise him in their holy priestly garden. As they went out before the army, saying, Give thanks to God. What a mighty God we serve. Somebody come against you with matching. Somebody come against you with iron. Somebody come against you with machine gun, with guns and other. And somebody is telling you, give thanks to God. This is mystical in the eyes of a common man. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God added in a mysterious way. His ways are always open unto us that have the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is able. To that great and progress the ways of God unto our heart. So that when we are walking on Him, we are not distracted. We are not confused and be distracted by what we see. Hallelujah. May mm -hmm. that see us as be distracted. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Oh, yes. When people are saying there is a casting down, you are saying there is a lifting up. Mm -hmm. People look at you, they are confused. Mm -hmm. But not you being confused because of the Spirit of God that lives in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jehovah. Thank you. The Bible says, He said, Give thanks to the Lord for His mercy and loving kindness endure forever. For it is the message of God that we are alive. For it is the message of God that we are even told that men and women have risen up against us. It is the message of God that we hear the word of God. Yes. The message of God. The Bible says, Loving kindness endure forever. In other words, not distort it. Hallelujah. Amen. Make it active in your life by giving thanks to God. Make it active in your life by praising God. Everybody has words to say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody has something to say. When you look at the left hand side, it's full of something to say in the world. When you look at the right hand side, it's full of negative things to say. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But all God requires us giving times. Giving times. Giving times to the Lord is a proof of a believing heart. For I cannot see your heart, but I see your heart through your times unto God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Through your praises unto God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you King of Glory. Thank is a give thanks to God. In other words, give thanks to God because the battle belongs to the Lord. In other words, victory belongs to me. In other words, God has delivered me. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, I'm experiencing victory in my presence. Yes. Thank you, Father. Amen. I may not have God in my hand. I may not have much church in my hand. But my thanks, my thanks and praises unto Him is more than those things. They are the weapon of our warfare. The Bible call it they are not cannon. They are mighty true God to the polygon of every stronghold. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Thank you, King of Glory. When you build up your life in the life of praises, in the life of worship, my dear, I say to you, your beauty will continue to shine. Amen. The beauty that shines from the innermost being of your heart will continue to shine. Sooner or later, people that have despised you, they come to you and say, come on, shall we collaborate together? You tell them, accept you serve my God, you can move with me. You give them a condition, accept you faithfully serve God, you can move with me, for I am a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, nothing concerns light and darkness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, we cannot go together except we are in agreement. That's why agreement is required. Joseph has said, everybody must have more heart. The heart of what? Believe. With agreement, we can fight the battle with a weapon of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. You, the church is not divided. Mm -hmm. The church needed one heart. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God for the church mm -hmm. God has given unto us. Mm -hmm. One heart, one mind, we are serving God. Mm -hmm. And I see us having that kind of glory Amen. when Jesus Christ shall come. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Now the word of God declare in verse 22, and when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, God himself set an ambushment against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mashiach, who had come up against Judah, and they were self-slaughtered. What a mighty God we serve. Are you here with me this morning? The Bible says, when they began to praise God, when they began to worship God, men that have come up against the children of the Most High God, they turned against themselves and began to fight themselves. Praises can cause confusion in the camp of your adversary. That is one thing I want you to know. All the devil wants to stop in your life is the flow of praises. The sacrifice of praise. The word of God calling the fruit of our lips. When the devil succeeded, stopping that fruit growing in your mind, you are finished. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. How many of us love to praise God? Lift up your hand. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says when they began to praise him, God himself knows you. Because the Bible has already declared the battle belongs to the Lord. All you need to do is to stand still. If you don't stand still, you can't praise God. In every temptation, you have to stand still first and be courageous that God is with you. Before you open your mouth and begin to praise God, you will know. Hallelujah. Amen. He requires them to believe. The word of God declared, as they took the step of faith, the step of belief. Mm. This is tough. You are seeing men and women in front of you. You are seeing enemies, hosts of enemy. We're talking, about, well, this is real. I'm telling you, boys and girls. I'm telling you, people of God, this is real. Hallelujah. If you can apply it in this age we are, I tell you that it's going to work for you. Amen. It's working for me every second of my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why when it turns when it turn, turn to praises, I praise God, I don't care to know who's looking at me. <laughs> I give thanks to God, I don't care to know the scenario I found myself. Because I know there is victory always in my praise. Hallelujah. Amen. If it works for Jehoshaphat, if it works for Judah and Jerusalem, it's going to work for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For I say to you, the Egyptian you see today, you see them no more. Amen. The host of enemy you see today, you see them no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. The Bible says, as they began to praise, God set an ambushment, ambushment, a conflict in their heart. God set a confusion onto their heart. They look at their opposition, their friend as their opposition. They look at their friend as their enemy. They began to self slaughter. It's happening in the spiritual realm right now for you. Amen. I said it's happening right now in the spiritual realm for you and I. Amen. It's happening right now for you and I. Amen. We're not talking about a physical battle. We're talking about a spiritual battle. God is your battle fighter. As you stand still and press God uncompromisingly, I see God fighting for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Jehovah. Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah. Praises. Stop the hands of the enemy. Stop the hands of the enemy. The devil gets confused and says, Upon oh, all we are doing, he or she is still praising God. And they just go on their way and move away. That is God will pity them. 
But in the time of Jehoshaphat, God said, this is not a time of pity. But I'm saying to you right now, the time of pity against your enemy has exhausted. God want to take their eyes together and they begin to be self slaughtered I'm speaking right now. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The word of God declare. They were self slaughtered Verse 23. For suspecting betrayal, the men of Ammon and Moab rose up against those of Manseah, utterly destroyed them. And when they had made an end of the men of Manseah, they all helped each other to destroy one another. What a mighty God we saw. God never start any battle without finish. God start a battle and finish it and give you the victory. I was studying the book, the story of, uh, of uh, David yesterday. I was, I was floating on top of my bed. I was floating in my room. I said, Father, I bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. David came to the battle. He said, what will be given to anybody who whips that man? So that is the dimension God wants the church to go. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. you see your victory in every battle. You see your success, your testimony, your, your victory in every difficulties. He said, what would be given to the person who takes that man off? This is the man, the whole nation, we are trembling off, running. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. The Bible said they had to destroy one another. In verse 24, and when Judah came, hey, come out of Goshen, the children of God were praising God the other side. Their enemy were destroying themselves the other side. That's confusion. I see God destroying your adversary with the spirit of confusion. Amen. I see God making the camp of your enemy desolate. Desolate with the spirit of confusion. The children of God, we are praising God on the other corner because they heard that the enemy has risen up against them and God sent an ambushment. The enemy began to self slaughter. The word of God declared, when the children of God now come to the battleground, <laughs> thank you Jesus. Your praise has the ability to go far, even from here to where you are not. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And discern every opposition of your destiny, every hand that has touched your life, every mouth that has lifted up against you. Your praise has the ability to soar and fly to every direction and walk for your good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Jehovah. Thank you. The word of God declared. And when Judah came to the watchtower of the wilderness, they looked at the multitude, and behold, they were all dead bodies falling to the earth, and none has escaped. I love that word. Because if anyone escapes, he can gang up again. When God does things for the church, he's doing it right now for you and I. God is doing it for you and I. I say none of them will escape Amen. the soul of the Lord. As you praise God, as you worship him, as you give him time. The Bible says none of them escape. Listen. The Bible says the eyes of God run to a fool, looking for the righteous one to prove himself so strong in their behalf. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, yes. This is an empowerment to thank God for the righteousness of God that is upon us. Amen. When I remember this scripture, I say, Father, I bless you. Your eyes is turning up and looking for me to prove yourself so strong even when I'm not there. That's right. Even when I'm not there when the enemy is gathering up against me. Right. Even when you are not there when the enemy is planning up against your children. Oh, yes. The Bible says the eyes of God no, no, hallelujah, like satellite. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jehovah. The Bible says, when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take the square, they found among them much cattle, goods, garments, precious things, which they took for themselves, more than they could carry the way. So much that they were, it was three days in gathering of the spoil. Hallelujah. Amen. Not just God fighting their battle for them, but God blesses them. He restored to them all that they have caused them. The time they gathered together, they were supposed to be at work. They were supposed to be taking care of their family. They tried, because of the tormentor, they gathered together. They fasted. They prayed. They were distracted from their daily activity. Praising God. God said, I will bless you. Nobody served God and lose every second he or she used to serve God. You won't lose it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. The devil blindfolded many people. They don't understand God. All they just know is Jesus Christ. But you have to understand him more than that. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Understand his word. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Nobody serve God with his body, with his time, with the hour, and loses any reward. Mm -hmm. God said, I will bless you. Not only giving you victory, I will bless you. The Bible said three days, they packed the spoil, gold, silver. Let's read forward. It's not the dead body they were packing. Mm -mm. They were packing all that they had. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. All that the opposition had. God blesses his children. The eyes of God is upon his children. God is committed to your favor. He's committed to your victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. The word of God declare. In verse 26, on the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Barak. There they blessed the name of the Lord. Hmm. What a mighty God we serve. The Bible says, there they bless the name of the Lord. So that place is still called today the valley of Barak. Many blessings. Then they returned every man to Judah and Jerusalem. Jehoshaphat led them to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies. Hallelujah. Amen. They came to Jerusalem with hearts, with leaves, with trumpets to the house of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord God came upon all the kingdoms of those countries when they had heard what God has done. And God has fought against the end of Israel. The word of God declared in verse 20. So the land of Jehoshaphat was quiet. For his God have gave him rest round about. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you King of Glory. Thank you, Shall you rise on your feet, please? Thank you.